But first, President Trump turning up the pressure on Mexico, threatening new tariffs until it takes stronger action to stop the flow of migrants to our southern border. Kevin Cork is live at the White House with more. Kevin. Dana, the president's frustration has boiled over. He is taking aim directly at Mexico for what he feels is really, quite frankly, passive cooperation in bringing this mass migration over the border. He says this on Twitter. Mexico has taken advantage of the United States for decades. Because of the Dems, our immigration laws are bad. Mexico makes a fortune from the U.S. and have for decades. They can easily fix this problem time for them to finally do what must be done. If they don't, here's the penalty. It would be significant. 5% tariff on all goods coming into the U.S. from Mexico. That's beginning on June 10th, all the way up to 25% on October the 1st. In one single instance this week, Dana, you probably saw this, more than 1,000 people were apprehended along the southern border. That's on top of the hundreds of thousands who have already come across our border this year and the year before and the year before, plus the million who've come here legally. Uh, no, through non-asylum means. Uh, so the message is obviously clear here from the White House. Mexico has to help or they'll pay a heavy price. We're asking Mexico to enforce their own laws to help uh, stop the people coming in from Central America. We've seen a massive influx of people coming from that region, and they have certainly the ability and the legal authority in which to deal with it, and we're simply asking them to do yeah. that. This may surprise you. Over on Capitol Hill, a bit of pushback from Republicans. Senator Joni Ernst of the great state of Iowa said this in a statement. It's clear that we need to address the unprecedented flow of illegal immigrants coming across our border day in and day out. And it's imperative that Mexico step up and do its part to stop the dream of these, of these migrants. That being said, here's the key, Dana. The livelihoods of Iowa farmers and producers are at stake. Okay, how about Mexico's president? Well, he has a strong take on this as well, although he appears to be questioning the validity of national sovereignty with part of his statement. He said, listen, President Trump's social problems are not resolved with taxes or coercive measures. He goes on to say this, really interesting, the Statue of Liberty is not an empty symbol. With all respect, even though you have the sovereign right to say it, the slogan America First is a fallacy. Because even until the end of time, justice and universal fraternity will prevail above national borders. No word, Dana, on when Mexico's trade reps will be here at the White House. We do expect they'll be making their way here soon. As I get more details, I promise to pass that along. But for now, back to you. I want to be a fly on the wall in that meeting. Yeah. I used to love those on a Friday afternoon. All right, Kevin Clark at the White House. Thank you.